Oh hey, it's Halloween. That means the spookiness will really start to settle. And what better way to celebrate this holiday than talking about Luigi's Mansion? Nintendo has given this series quite a bit of attention this year. We got a 3DS remake of the first game not too long ago and a third installment was announced. They even hinted at it during the Smash Bros. trailer for Simon Belmont with Luigi carrying a new variation of the Poltergeist. Because of how excited I am for this game, I'll be sharing some predictions I have for it. These won't be huge innovations, and most of them aren't even that realistic. I just wanted to share some interesting ideas I had. So think of this more as me sharing my hopes for the game. But as the title implies, here are my predictions for Luigi's Mansion 3. Judging from the trailer we got, this game doesn't take place in a mansion at all. It takes place in a hotel. Presumably, Mario, Peach, Toad, and obviously Luigi were taking a vacation, but they ended up staying at a haunted hotel. Mario, Peach, and Toad were all kidnapped, but because he's a protagonist, Luigi was perfectly safe. With the help of most likely Professor Egad, Luigi will save his friends and end the reign of probably King Boo. And that's all we can piece together so far. I don't know what else I could do for story. Maybe include a new antagonist, but let's be real, it'll be King Boo. Let's get into my biggest hope for Luigi's Mansion 3 and what'll take up a bulk of the video. I want the game to be closer to the first Luigi's Mansion than Dark Moon. The series may just be a parody of horror games, but the first installment still gave you a gloomy atmosphere. It wasn't actually creepy, but it wasn't comforting either. In fact, it was supposed to be scarier. There was a cut portrait ghost based off a hunter that was going to add Luigi to his collection. And just look at this unused game over screen. Luigi's Mansion Darkmoon, on the other hand, fails at this. The atmosphere of the game is wacky. Sure, it fits the Mario universe better, but it doesn't grasp at you. It doesn't feel desolate and uninviting. It feels like comedy relief enemies are showcasing comedy relief over there. And somehow Luigi is more frightened than ever. The irony hurts. It's not just the tone of the sequel I don't like. I also prefer the way progression was in the first game. You got to explore this huge mansion. It was split up into four areas and it showed a sense of development. The manor starts out as humble and simple, but eventually turns into your worst nightmare. You discover more and more about why this place is the way it is. Dark Moon's system of progression is mission-based. Every time you complete a certain objective in a mansion, you're sent back to EGAD's laboratory. This isn't a bad system, and it has advantages over the first games, but it feels less open-ended and more arbitrary. And let's not forget, the bosses. The Portrait Ghosts in Luigi's Mansion are honestly some of my favorite bosses in any game I've ever played. They're not the most complex characters ever, but they have pretty interesting personalities when you look more in depth and they have unique strategies for capturing them. Granted, they're pretty easy for the most part, but I still think the fights are engaging enough. But unfortunately, the sequel was a downgrade in this regard. The bosses are now generic ghosts to possess whatever you'll be fighting. The battles themselves are good and they're actually challenging, but they lack an interesting design or any sort of personality. They might not bring back the portrait ghost in the prequel cool because of the setting, but I really hope the bosses share more similarities with them than those found in Luigi's Mansion 2. Sorry for that rant on Dark Moon. It's still a great sequel, and to be fair, I've never played it, but it lacks a lot of what I enjoyed about the first game. From the looks of the trailer, this new game will be a mix between both styles. The enemy designs are more similar to Luigi's Mansion 2, but the atmosphere resembles that of the first game. If they can give us the best of both worlds, then I'm at least fine with that. That was the main thing I wanted to get out of the way. These upcoming predictions are more like minor additions I think would be convenient. I've given my two cents on the bosses and how I'd like them to be portrayed, but let's go even further. This wouldn't even happen in my dreams, but imagine how awesome it'd be if you could learn more of the bosses' backstories. So, I propose to introduce a new collectible, the videotapes. These would show you what the ghosts did when they were alive. Again, the chances of this even remotely happening are next to nothing, but I think it'd be a nice touch that could flesh out the boss's personalities. In the To Luigi's Mansion games, Professor Egat has given you a device to help you on your quest. In the original, you receive the Game Boy Horror, while in Dark Moon you obtain the Dual Screen. These inventions allowed you to check with Egat and view the map or treasures you've earned. In the third game, I feel like they'll go with a Nintendo Switch. It could function the same as the other two, but one idea I had for it is something akin to the bonuses in the sequel Scarescraper. Maybe if you collect enough treasure, you get the chance to spin a lottery machine and win stuff like health, money, or a more powerful vacuum. Of course, I can't forget multiplayer. While there's quite a bit I don't like about Luigi's Mansion 2, one what I think is really cool is the Scarescraper. It's basically a cooperative marathon to the top of the mansion. You and up to three other Luigi's must complete each floor without dying or running out of time, and along the way you can receive bonuses to make things easier. The Luigi's Mansion 3DS remake has its own multiplayer, but it's different. 
This time, you can explore the mansion with the second player or take on a boss rush mode. Player 2 takes control of Gooigi, who only has 50 HP but can revive indefinitely. It's kind of like an advanced version of the multiplayer from Super Mario Odyssey. The second player is more like a helper, but it's still convenient. If I had to choose which multiplayer mode should be in the third game, I really hope both would be included, but if I could only pick one, I'd go with the Scarescraper. I just think it's a more interesting approach to multiplayer in Luigi's Mansion. All players have an important role instead of feeling like sidekicks. The latter option feels more likely, seeing how Nintendo did the same with 3D Mario games, but on a gameplay standpoint, I think Scarescraper is far superior. I mean, I'd prefer something about the sequel. Last but not least, let's talk about rankings. I consider Luigi's Mansion more of a collectathon than it is a horror game. You have tons of treasures to earn, bosses to capture, booze to catch, and the amount of treasure you collect determines what your ranking will be at the end of the game. Luigi's Mansion 2 has a GOSH breaking. Actually, in this case, the second game has a better ranking system. Instead of being determined by your entire playthrough, it's based off how well you do in a mission. And rather than just being judged by treasures, you also have to worry about health taking, ghost captured, and how long it takes. It's a more in-depth alternative. For Luigi's Mansion 3, I think the ranking system should be a hodgepodge of both games. Like Luigi's Mansion 1, you'll be estimated at the end of each area you complete. But what you'll be ranked on is similar to Luigi's Mansion 2, with how much treasure you collect, how skilled you are against bosses, how many booze you catch, and possibly even how long it takes you to complete each area. And you should be rewarded. This may sound insane, but what if you earn prizes depending on which ranking you got? Like, if you receive the lowest possible ranking, you won't win anything, but if you manage to score higher, you'll be able to play through new areas of the hotel. There could be other unlockables, like a new character to play as or boss rush, but let's get the obvious unlockable out of the way. New Game Plus. This is kind of a cop-out, but I don't care. Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube had a mode named the Hidden Mansion after completing the game. Your vacuum could suck up ghosts quicker, but the enemies dealt a lot more damage. That was about it for the North American version. Kind of disappointing if I say so myself. Luckily, the European release introduced a ton of new mechanics for the Hidden Mansion. The entire game pulled a Wii Twilight Princess, there are more regular ghosts roaming around, boss fights are more difficult, hearts are rarer to find, booze are quicker and more agile, and those are just a few examples of changes. It'd be really cool if Luigi's Mansion 3 brought this back. Hopefully, it'll be like PAL Hidden Mansion, but with even more to offer. What if the bosses had completely different strategies? Or maybe there could be more money lying around, but ghosts are harder to strike with the flashlight. That's all I can think of, but they could go above and beyond with a new game plus mode. And... that's it. Those are my hopes for Luigi's Mansion 3 along with a couple ideas that have a very low chance of happening. Jeez, that's a mouthful. I don't think I'll come up with more predictions by the time Luigi's Mansion 3 finally releases, so don't expect the second part. I'd be really surprised if everything I said happens. Heck, even if any of my predictions are true, I'll be shocked. But we'll just have to wait for the game to come out. Until next time, this is Blue Ninten. Glad I don't have to force Halloween into everything anymore. Well, for the next 330 so days. Aw oh, crap, how did I forget? They really need to bring back the first game's most important aspect, Luigi calling for Mario.